today we're going to make a mushroom sun-dried tomato and kale soup that is vegan uh, or you can make it with regular milk and have it be non-vegan. I've already cut up my onion and my mushrooms and this is my crock pot. It's got a little liner in there and it makes it make it easier to clean up. You're going to use one 32 ounce container of vegetable broth, some Italian seasoning, I have some seasoning salt, and some minced garlic. I added the veggie broth, one container of um, cut up mushrooms, I, put, I cut them into quarters, and I added three tablespoons of minced garlic one tablespoon of uh, Italian seasoning, and about a half of a diced up onion. This doesn't have quite as much liquid as I thought it would, so I'm going to go ahead and add um, some of my oat milk now. I was planning on adding that at the end, but I'll go ahead and add it now. Or you can add another container of veggie seasoning. I just want to make sure that there's enough liquid for when I put in the kale. This is pre-chopped, pre-washed kale. And this should cook down. Quite a bit in there. Kind of stir it in. Make sure there's enough liquid. Oh, and I added that whole bag of sun-dried tomatoes. You can also use the kind of sun-dried tomatoes that are um, in a jar. Next time I may use two containers of veggie broth for this. Okay, now I'm going to put this on high in my crock pot and let it cook. Okay, our soup has been cooking all day. That kale cooked down, it smells wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple things that you don't have to do, but I thought might taste good. I've actually never made this soup before, so um, we're just kind of experimenting. I have a fourth a cup of nutritional yeast here. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there, and it's going to give it a little bit of a cheesy type flavor. And then I'm going to add a can of coconut milk. I really like this brand and this particular kind. Um, it's nice and thick, so that's going to give this more of a creamy, thick flavor to it. I added the coconut milk. I couldn't do it uh, using holding my camera, so I had to turn the camera off. I did a little taste test. It's got a little bit of a coconutty, sweet flavor to it now. If you don't prefer that flavor or if you're allergic to coconut, then obviously you don't have to add that. I do feel like it needs a little bit more salt. Um, I'm just using seasoning salt. When you get your coconut milk, that I think it's that same Goya brand it actually has one that they add sugar to to make daiquiris and things out of. I accidentally purchased that and just realized it, so make sure to check your ingredients. Alright, this soup is pretty much done.